Hey, it's Miss Cool coming at you this evening here. Looks like uh, I had a wonderful day. I hope you did too as well, but uh, I guess I could go live. But tonight I just wanted to do a quick little shout out. Got the little uh, lamp on that's a little fire light bulb that whoever invented those really thought of something pretty cool. So uh, Pamela's wanting to talk to this evening about, let me get my little pillow up here. So I can kick back and uh, do my little shout out. But sometimes I talk really fast, so I might do that right now. So here it comes. Are you ready? My family put the D in dysfunctional. They really did. So we're going we're gonna to be talking about dysfunctional families. My family was very dysfunctional. dysfunctional. I can remember like years and years ago when I was really young. I'm sure a lot of people go through this with different family members. And uh, it's great to be a survivor. So when, you, when you're able to step up and talk about surviving, I'm checking myself on here. Uh, <clears throat> I am a survivor and I'm pretty proud of it. I survived a lot. Um, I had one gal tell me one day, she goes, you know, you're an open book. And I go, well, sometimes I am on my channel. But I'm actually not taking my clothes off or stripping or doing some other things like that, which, you know, I would pray that those girls or anybody selling drugs this evening or knowing that they're going to get somebody pretty messed up for any length of time or, you know, have that pharmacia spirit, which is short for like pharmaceutical, pharmacia, drugs you get from the pharmacy. It is a spirit. Holy Bible speaks about this pharmacia. And the pharmacia is in dysfunctional families as well. So the dysfunction comes from drugs, uh, parents on drugs, uh, different influences that uh, affect the minds of people that they can't make proper decisions or, or work in the right uh, Holy Spirit of different things. Because the Bible talks about the spirits and those spirits are like principalities. If you've ever drove by a liquor store, like in California, we had quite a few of them like on every block. And it always said liquor store spirits. But back to the dysfunctional families. And I grew up in one. So I am a survivor. Okay. I was a victim. I'm a survivor. And uh, moving on to Thriver. Some people would say that have master degrees. I am a Thriver. I feel like I could uh, thrive some more. But I am thriving. So, uh, and you can fall back into it. So you have to be really careful. You can fall right back into the victim mentality. I've done that too. So get right back up on the horse. Get right back up and claim who you are. My uh, higher energy is Jesus Christ. So uh, he proves he's a gentleman. Oh my gosh, Jesus is a gentleman. He is just like all the time, like not pushing himself on me. And I'm going to get into a few little shout outs about who he is. And if you don't believe it, it's okay. And if you believe in crystals or, or Buddha or, or all these other kinds of, you know, new world religions as far as peace, yoga, crystals healing you, all this kind of stuff, you know, it, it's your right to each his own. But I also have the right to get on here for those people that are believers and acknowledge who he is and claim him. And because that's what the Bible teaches us as believers, that if we are able to step up and do that, it's a beautiful thing. So with that in mind, I'm going to talk about dysfunctional families and real quick, just let you know that I've come quite a ways um, and uh, my survival and the surviving things that I've been through in my life. But long story short, I am writing a book. And uh, just to be upfront about this dysfunctionalness is uh, real quick, uh, my mother passed away and I come from a family of five and I am the baby of my family and not one of my brothers stepped up to do anything. And as the years have gone by, I, I pray for them, but you know, we do, we can't, we don't always have to love our parents, what they did, but here's the part we need to respect. We need to respect the fact that they took part in creating you. So with that in mind, you can come to the table and say, you know, I really didn't like my parents. You don't need to ghost them. Okay. Cause that's showing who you are. 
So, because you could probably help and you could forgive and you could have tolerance and, and you could have like a different type of, uh, uh, you know, strength that you never knew you had by, you know, forgiving someone. But when they do take part in creating you, we need to be there for them. Long story short, my brothers weren't there. These guys are big, rich, wealthy dudes. And if you're watching me on my YouTube channel, I'm ashamed of you guys. I'm praying for you. But you took your little sister to do it all, okay? And I did it all, okay? I actually did. I'm talking funeral home, putting socks on a, a passed away person's feet. You know, it's not about money. It's about your brothers and your family being there for you. Just being there for you and just acknowledging, you know, she's going to need us around. But, you know, people have attitudes. They just look at funerals like, you know, some people, they have the right not to want to go to a funeral. But if one person, a sibling and a family of five is being left to do all of those things, obviously that's wrong. So the years go by and they don't want to talk to me. They got all their different reasons, but I stepped up and I did what I had to do. And it was okay. I made it through it. And guess what? It made me strong. So all of you out there that have brothers or family members that put the D in dysfunctional, but when, you know, the tides come in and the storms arrive and it's hailing and it's raining and the youngest one steps up and does it all, guess what? That's called courage. That's called power. And that's called something that the Lord gave to me. And this video is driving me crazy because of the lighting. But here we go. I'm going to get back with you. But we're going to talk about uh, dysfunctional. So if you come from a dysfunctional family, get some books. Uh, be a, Try to go in a survivor mode. And uh, survivors are really strong people. Um, they have a lot of love and a lot of heart, but they're kind of, you know, the, there's like a yellow light flashing, yield, yield, yield. And they're kind of, kind of step back. Sometimes they fall. They might, you know, shout out at you or, or do some different things that, you know, you might, you know, at least speaking from who I am. So as far as my family goes, my brothers, they're rich. They think they're better than people. They brag about selling, buying shoes for three or four hundred dollars. I'd rather go to a grocery store. Um, I do like new shoes, though. You pay for what you get. But uh, yeah, so my shout outs tonight to my brothers. If you're watching my channel, hey, I'm disappointed in you. You guys are all like 60, 70 right now, and I'm 62. And you're you're rich, you're wealthy, you're atheists, coincidentally. Uh, and uh, it's just wrong. So. I'm praying for you guys. I'm praying for my family that they can come to a higher ground, a level of in their mind that, you know, at some point step up and say, hey, thanks, Pamela. I should have been there for you. If you can't say that ever, it's obvious that uh, you could and should have would have been. So it's Miss Cool saying, if you come from a dysfunctional family, uh, just be strong about it. Keep praying. And uh, that's all I can say. I'm a little bit tired. I swam in the pool today with my granddaughter that I love dearly and I love you guys and uh you can overcome a dysfunctional family and you can end up teaching them something that they haven't learned because their pride choked them out obviously so it's Miss Cool I've had that name since I've been 15 every once in a while I use it most of the time I do saying hey you don't have to be dysfunctional because you come from a dysfunctional family you can rise above it you can and you can soar like an eagle. You don't got to stay on the ground like a chicken, okay? You can soar above the clouds and you can say, hey, it's me. I came from a dysfunctional family, but you know what? I rose above it and I got something to tell you. I'm free from that. It's Miss Cool saying, hey, rise above it and be cool and listen to Miss Cool because most of the time I'm right. I wanted to be wrong so I could be right. Imagine that.